This is a Raspberry Pi 4 kit in the form of an Astro Pi, which just means it's got some extra stuff. We've got the fancy wrapping. We've got the actual Raspberry Pi itself here. We've got a fancy uh, kind of lens, um, which you can see in this one that I've, this is a complete Raspberry Pi, Astro Pi kit, basically a Raspberry Pi 4 with a sense hat. And I've 3D printed a nice camera case because this comes with this lovely high quality camera lens there. Uh, so we're gonna be basically putting this thing together. Um, you'll have to 3D print a case yourself if you want, but they're free, those STLs, if you can find a 3D pr printer handily enough. And it's nice because you can put on this nice stand and, and do time lapses and stuff. And you'll need a monitor with HDMI. You'll need this um, HDMI mini thing. So this is the camera and then the lens goes top of this, which is basically the camera there. And then the lens on top, the SD card. Got a raised header. We've got the sense hat. We've also got the little standoffs for the sense hat. We've got some wires. We've got the Raspberry Pi power plug as well. You put the monitor cable on the left um, monitor mini HDMI one, not the the right one. The right one's for the extra screen. Now, next thing you do is you put in your power from your USB. The USB actually I got with this kit was a German one, um, uh, you know. But there's actually you know you know that classic trick where uh, you can just put um, if it won't go in there because you know it's got that little safety latch. Just put a plug in upside down, and then it'll be there. You go. Now we've got like a European looking plug, and it'll it'll go right in there with a little wiggle most of the time. So anyway, I mean you could just buy a, like a converter for it, but I mean. That might get you out of a, a fix. So you put the other end of the white HDMI in the HDMI monitor. Just don't turn the, the system on just yet. Uh, we need to do the sense hat and all that kind of stuff. So this sense hat comes with a little header there with pins that goes through it. It also comes with a much taller header which protrudes through and up and at the top, um, which allows you to put more sensors on top. See that one big long, it's a little bit finicky to get in, quite delicate, so just be careful when you're putting this guy in. Just do it slowly because those pins are very easy to bend. But that um, that basically just allows you to retain all the GPIO switches in the top for adding your sensors. Where a normal sense had header, um, it's a, just a smooth top, so you have to choose between sense hat and other sensors. But this allows you to... Um, you know, do both. Now, the sensor does take up some of those sensors sometimes when it's on, but you'll kind of find that out in your programming uh, exactly uh, which GPOs might clash. But anyway, um, so when you're putting this on, just make sure that all of the pins go in there. I mean, that might sound silly, but like this is how Raspberry Pi is going fire. You whack it on real quick and you think it's on, but it's not on. Like you get that, that I call that the saber tooth there with two bits sticking out, you know? Um, uh, and sometimes you, you, an entire row, like you, you put it on kind of like half on, you know. Um, and I've seen um, students with very smoky pie. And when I walked over, I could see that row of monster teeth there um, just like that. And that's not obviously how it goes on. I mean, I know that seems like it's very straightforward, but but I'm just telling you most common ways to uh, burn a Razzie pie or for it to start smoking. Um, is that so just make sure you you express to your students you take the time to put it on properly um, Wiggle it down left and right wiggle 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 don't push um, That's always the secret just wiggle left and right well, same when you're taking it off um, Make sure you you don't just like pull or push on it. Just, just gonna take a break from the sense pad to look at this Raspberry Pi high quality camera um, and the camera is just a, basically a thicker better lens than the the old um, camera 2.0 uh, it's got a little baby screwdriver um, but it, it connects just the same pretty much so um, just be aware when you're opening this it comes out only one side um, and just be very delicate with it because it's quite heavy there's a lot of weight in that and that ribbon coming out of it is not very strong so what you want to do is locate 
um the b see the blue side usb b for blue and then that's the way it goes it goes on the the middle bit not the end that's for display that's for like an extra external display it goes in there and the the as you can see there the, the usb blue matches that's how i remember which way it goes if you're if you're not sure just you know go on google so wiggle up a little latch there with your two fingers and then you can put this in this takes a little while to get right okay but once it's sort of in you can tighten it by pushing the latches down push it one and then the other with your nail of your thumb and just wiggle 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 always when working with raspberry pis just wiggle don't pull um that's just, that seems to be the secret to not breaking things great and then if you give it a gentle tug you should see that it's it's firmly on there and that is the first part of the camera all set up so now that i've shown you where this goes i'm actually going to take it off again because i need to put the sense out on so you'll find that the little ribbon for the camera actually goes through a slot on the sense hat at the top see that little slot you just feed it through there and then do exactly what we just did where you know you put it into the the little latch with the b for blue facing the usb uh, wiggle it down and slide the sense hat up to put it in position and yeah just put the sense hat on and uh that's pretty much it then you've got your sense hat and your camera all ready to go again just this is you want to be gentle with pins here just wiggle 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 left right left right and you're all done there's your camera everything's gonna go if you're leaving the sense hat on for a while it's best to kind of reinforce it using those little black screws that came with the header so just pop one in Screw it on with a little, little camera screwdriver on the bottom and on the top. And actually, that's way more rigid. One like one will do, basically. Um, a lot of times, I don't put this, these on at all. I'm just taking them on or off. But if it's, if it's going to be on for any length of time, it's probably good. Stop it flexing. Cool. Right. Uh, let's put the lens on the camera. So um, there are some tricks here, so watch out. So firstly, um, take your lens out. It's nice and heavy. Take the, the cap off. Just pull, and you can see there's a lovely lens. And the other side, you'll actually need to screw that off rather than pull. So just wind it off. Um, now, when, or maybe it's, I don't know, <laughs> pull, get it off anyway. Um, and then basically uh, take the top bit off here, you can see there. Okay, now if you put that in, wrong. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> that bottom bit actually needs to come off as well. So if your camera is out of focus, then that's why. Um, so put that bottom ring it's because this is for a ccdv camera not for raspberry pi necessarily so that's surplus for requirements you don't need it so yeah just dump that you're all done okay so you can put in your sd card the little micro sd card comes out of the bigger one put it in the front turn it on um and there's no power switch it just comes on and you'll see it booting up there um you can get a, an adapter or a power switch but generally it just turns on when it's plugged in so usual stuff here putting in your um you're, uh, like a, you can set a password if you want. Default is Raspberry with a P, and the login is Pi. Um, choose your Wi-Fi network and locale. Um, just press yada yada. Just could you just press OK to all this. Um, look for a VNC, which is the remote uh, de desktop connection service, which allows you to remote in. Just see the green light there flashing means it's working. So if your screen's blank and that's flashing, there's something wrong with your screen, not the Pi. Okay, so click on VNC and look for the IP address here, which is 192.168. something or something like that there. Okay, let's go to the PC and continue. Right, so to connect to the Raspberry Pi, you open up VNC Viewer. You click New Connection here under File. You type the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that you're trying to connect to. Now, that is displayed when you double click VNC icon on the top right. On the Raspberry Pi, it says IP address. I can read it over there. It says 192.168.8.109. So 192.168.8.109. That's what it tends to be in home networks. 192.168. Generally one or eight, and then three digits. In school networks, it tends to be more like you know 10.1.161. Whatever. But IP addresses. Right. Uh, I'm just going to type new pi who this because i have a few different pies press okay now i need to just either double click or right click to connect 
and put in the password. Uh, the password default is raspberry. So I'm going to say that like rasp with a b a p. There's a I spent a good five minutes of my life trying to figure out a technical issue. Turns out I couldn't spell raspberry. I because like you say r raspberry, because where's the p? Anyway, there is a p in there for sure. So uh, press OK. And even if you change the password when you first logged onto the piece onto the Raspberry Pi, I find sometimes it doesn't it doesn't like update or whatever. So click change password it might work, but that's it. Oh, I hear a baby. <laughs>